Hey guys, it's Claire. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys probably know, the new Barbie movie just came out and these past few weeks, the internet has been absolutely overloaded with Barbie content. So today I'm jumping on that bandwagon because we're going to be making a Barbie princess cake. So you guys have probably seen this cake before, but if you have not made one, you are missing out. They are so much fun to make. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make one. So this tutorial is perfect for beginners. I'm going to be running you through the process step by step and showing you a really easy and simple way to make your Barbie cake. And the best part is in this video, we're not going to be using any fancy princess dress cake pan. I know a lot of tutorials for these types of cakes require like a specific pan, but we're not going to be using that today. I'm going to show you how to do it with just some regular cakes. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to make this Barbie cake is cake. So you can use chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, really any type of cake. Just make sure it's a strong cake. It's not too moist. Obviously don't use like a mud cake or just make sure you're using a cake that doesn't have a super tender crumb, one that has some structure to it. So like I said, we're not using an actual Barbie princess cake pan. We're going to use rounds and carve them down. So here I have four eight inch rounds of cake. You'll need four or five depending on how high you want the dress to be. You just want to make sure that your cake is tall enough to put the Barbie in. Also need lots of buttercream frosting. So you can use whatever type of buttercream you would like. You can use store-bought, but of course I recommend not using store-bought because it tends to be very slidey and slippery and we want a good strong buttercream to hold up this cake because it's a big cake. So the buttercream I'm using is my own recipe, American Buttercream. You can find a full tutorial on how to make this buttercream in my 4th of July cookie video. So make sure you check that out if you want to make this recipe. I recommend doubling the amount of frosting that I make in that video. All the ingredients are in the description box, so just double all of those so you have plenty of buttercream because the worst thing ever is running out of icing midway through a cake and having to make more. I've been there. It's horrible. So make sure you make plenty of frosting or buy plenty of frosting, whatever you're going with. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is stack our cake layers just like we would a normal cake. So I'm just going to put some buttercream on to my cake stand. So, so putting this icing on your cake stand is just going to help make sure nothing slides around. It all stays sturdy. So I'm going to put the first layer of cake down. Like usual, I'm going to pipe a layer of frosting in the middle. Now I'm going to stick the next layer right on top and just keep repeating this process until all your layers are on. And a very important tip, on your last cake, we want to flip it upside down so we put the nice smooth and flat side on the top. That will just make it easier on us when we're frosting the cake. Okay, so now before we crumb coat our cake, it's a good idea to grab the Barbie you're going to be using and just kind of hold it up to the cake. So you want the top of the cake to cover about her hips. So this is a good height. If your cake is a little too short, that's okay because we can kind of build it up with some icing and fondant later on. And if it's a little too tall, that's okay. She'll just have a taller dress. If it's mega too tall, you might want to take off a layer. Before we carve our cake into the shape of a dress, we're just going to do a super quick crumb coating to lock in some of those crumbs. Okay guys, so my cake has chilled for 30 minutes and now it's time to carve the cake. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our Barbie into the cake so that we can carve the cake to kind of fit her, if that makes sense. So using a very sharp cutting knife, be very careful, we're just going to cut a little hole right in the center of the cake so that we can stick our Barbie inside. Okay guys, so now that our cake kind of looks like a donut, we're going to stick our Barbie in. But first make sure you wrap her up really tight in plastic wrap or aluminum foil so that we don't get a bunch of icing on the Barbie. So now she's all wrapped up. We're going to stick her all the way down into our cake. Okay, so now time for the tricky part, carving down the cake. We want her dress to start closer to her hips and then taper out into her full beautiful ball gown. So the biggest advice I can give you is just start slow, cut off just a little bit at a time because you can always cut off more. You can't really put the cake back on. So very carefully carve your cake so that the shape looks more like a dress. Or if you don't want to do that, that's okay if you can just have a very round dress. So I'm going to carve the cake and take my time and I will show you guys that process. Alrighty guys, so I finished 
finish carving the cake and put another coat of icing all around it. Let it chill for about 45-ish minutes, 30, 45. It's just firmed up a bit. So now I'm not gonna do a full third coat of icing because it's okay if you see some crumbs through it because we're gonna cover it with fondant. But I'm gonna get some extra icing and kind of smooth out any of the like dents on this because we want it to be a really smooth surface before we put fondant over it or else the fondant will like be bumpy. So now it's time to make the fondant skirt on our Barbie princess cake. So here I've rolled out some pink fondant, but of course if you don't want her skirt to be pink, you can pick whatever color you'd like. And I've rolled it out nice and thin. So we're gonna be covering the entire cake in fondant. So my biggest tip I can offer you with fondant is roll out more than you think you'll need because you can always show more the excess, but it's really hard to add more fondant onto a cake after you've already placed it over the cake. It just gets difficult to fill in the gaps. So I've rolled this out nice and thin on a surface that was coated with confectioner sugar. Never use flour when you're rolling out your fondant. I've seen people do that before. Don't do that because flour has to be cooked before it's eaten, it has like bacteria in it. Where powdered sugar, you can eat straight. So you always wanna roll it out on powdered sugar or cornstarch because that's safe to eat because we don't cook our fondant. Okay, you guys, it's time for the moment of truth, placing our fondant over top of our cake. This part is so, so, so stressful. Okay, let's do this. Okay, you guys, we've got the fondant on the cake. So now, okay, you guys, we've got the fondant on the cake. So now we're just gonna gently pull and kind of make those natural ruffles the way real fabric would lay. It looks like her flowing skirt. Okay, you guys, so I finished placing the fondant around the edges, trimmed off the excess, and brushed off some of the extra powdered sugar. So now we are in the home stretch. It's time to insert our Barbie into our cake. So to make Barbie's little top, I just cut a rectangle out of fondant and then cut a little v-neck and then did the same thing for a back. And then did the same thing for the back, cut out a rectangle, and then added little straps to connect these straps in the front and the back. If your edges are not perfectly finished, don't worry, we're going to fix that in just a minute. Okay, you guys, we're actually in my room now. But anyways, our Barbie princess cake is finished now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below if you give this cake a try. And also, if you saw the new Barbie movie, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!